Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tom here. Uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Railroads Online. Guys, this is just going to be a real quick episode. There was an update today, or yesterday now, for me. I sat at 3 o'clock in the morning, so there's an update yesterday. Um, and uh, guys, we got, a, we got a few new toys to play with in this update, along with some bug fixes. So... Uh, uh, before we go look at the toys, let's uh, let's take a look at the bug fixes. So let me get down here to my OBS. Come on, there we go. And switch over to my other capture screen here. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, so cage log, uh, cars. Um, they, this is the new cars they've added. They've added a Greg Sugarcane flat car, a Greg Sugarcane logging flat, a Greg Sugarcane stake flat, a bulkhead flat, a low side gondola, gon, gondola, can't speak this morning, a medium gondola, a high side gondola, box car, and an agricultural tank car. And under locomotives and turntables, they have um, fixed an issue that caused EVT hoppers to fall into the ground while re-railing, making it further impossible to re-rail them. So that means, guys, if you didn't get rid of all your uh, the EVT hoppers that you had um, after the last update, now you can re-rail them and they'll be they'll be good. Uh, I have to say, some of a uh, couple of my playthroughs, I uh, I got rid of those cars, um, but I don't think I did in all of them. So most of my playthroughs, so still have those cars in them, which is nice. I don't have to go buy new cars. Um, uh, fix the bug that caused the Porter 042 engine's front number plate to not be golden. Okay, so uh, I guess the Porter 042's engine front plate to not be golden. So it's going to be golden, okay. I didn't even notice that, so. Uh, fix the bug that caused the headlight intensity of the Heisler and the Cookie 260 and the Eureka to be too dim so those headlights will be brighter from now on um, let me get rid of this down here this is my OBS um, bridges uh, fixed a bug that made it impossible to link truss bridges to existing rails that is above the ground um, yeah that was a issue for me it took me a long time to figure out as a matter of fact I think I had to watch I think I watched somebody's uh, uh, content creators video and I can't remember which one it got was guys I'm sorry otherwise I would link him in the description but um, he had figured out that you turn the truss backwards and it, they would link so but uh, I guess now it's fixed so you don't have to do that um, sounds a fixed a bug that caused geared engines to have any truss sounds at low speed do not have any chuff sounds. Okay, so they they took around the chuff speeds at low or the chuff sounds at low speeds on geared engines. They took that out. Um, fixed a bug that made it impossible to re-rail engines and cars properly onto switches. That's nice. Um, more under controls. Uh, fixed a bug that caused brakes to be 100% applied even if the chosen value was far below even just a tiny bit more than zero that was aggravating and annoying to me I hated it every time I would just put just a little break just one percent break on an engine it would stop dead I don't even if it had a hundred percent regulator it would stop dead and uh, it just it drove me nuts um, 
fix the bug that made entering a locomotive via the F menu very I'm sorry guys it is three o'clock in the morning uh, <laughs> um, fix the bug that made it entering a locomotive via the F menu very inconsistent so yeah it was sometimes you would have to hit you know squat down and click inside the firebox sometimes you had to click way up uh, you know at the front uh, toward the front of the firebox so it was yeah it was it just inconsistent where you clicked on the F menu or whatever key bind you had it at mine mine is one of my mouse key binds um, sorry guys that would be my ham radio scanning the police channel sorry about that um, graphics adjusted the font color in the construction menu drop down list so that it can be red when the background is dark <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing guys but that's another one that just aggravated the crap out of me um, not being able to see those those words in the drop down menu just uh, it just oh it was awful um, and finally in graphics Fixed a bug that caused car lettering to be offset from the car. Yay! I was waiting for that one too. Um, uh, if, if you, I don't know if anybody, I'm sure everybody noticed because, I mean, your car's here, you know, and then what would look like to be a foot above it in game would be the letters uh, that actually were supposed to be written on the car. And they would be hovering about a foot above the car. So... That was nice. Um, crashes. So it fixed a crash. What? Well, fixed a crash that happened when loading a save game with old splines. Okay. When loading a save game that included old splines. These will be converted into the new splines, new spline types. Due to the conversion algorithm, some converted splines might differ in terms of radius and length. Old switch types will also be converted into new spline switch types. Okay, so you don't have to change. If I'm reading that correct, and I may be wrong, y'all can check me in the comments. But if I'm reading that correctly, you don't have to change your old splines anymore. As soon as you load in, they will be converted to new splines and new switches. Cool. That's nice. Alrighty. So... Let's uh, get back into the game here, and uh, let's uh, we'll go take a look at the uh, at the new uh, at the new cars. Okay, this is the Greg Sugarcane Flat. Okay, so and I noticed tonight it said Cane Flat, Sugarcane Cane Flat, and then Sugarcane Logging Flat, and then Sugarcane Steak Flat. So. This is a Greg Sugar Cane Flat. So it should be just flat instead of cane flat. But uh, anyway, um, so it's made by the Greg Company. It's a flat model. It's a flat and the build date was 1905. It's three foot gauge. It weighs 2,200 pounds. It carries crate tools. Am I reading that right? Crate tools? So this car is going to carry tools from the ironworks. Nice. Okay. Um, and of course the price is two hundred dollars. Um, how many paint jobs do we have? Ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven paint jobs. That's nice. Okay, cool. Seven. So, okay, let's go in this tier one. So, these, I was reading, in, uh, and, and I tried to get a picture of it from the Steam Workshop, but it wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me copy the picture. But, um, I was reading um, in some of the notes before it gave the change log. It said that the reason they did this was to allow early in game uh, to you use these cars with you can use these cars with a porter um, 
and it makes it you know easier to uh, to access and use all these cars on the porter so so that's um that's pretty cool um, so then we have let's go to the next one so then we have a uh, a sugarcane Greg sugarcane logging flat so this is for logs and I'm sure it's not going to carry as many logs as a uh, a regular log car just like I'm sure that crate car won't carry as many crates as a box car but um, so this carries log and steel pipe again uh, Craig company flat car 1905 uh, this is 2420 pounds and it's long and kills long and steel pipe and I'm sure it has a seven the same yeah same seven paint jobs okay so they're all gonna have this well maybe we'll see if they all have them I believe there was uh, so one two I think of six or seven cars six or seven new cars um, but anyway let's move on to the uh, state flat um, also in 1905 this is 2310 pounds it's for rail raw raw iron beams and lumber and it's two also two hundred dollars so let's the state flat and this is the bulkhead flat so this will be your cordwood car um, also in 1905 it's 2530 pounds and it is $220 so we're getting up in price here a little bit and then we have the low side gondola so this is a, a really low side gondola and this is uh, 2310 pounds also 1905 um, this is for iron ore coal or oil barrels Wow, so you can put iron ore, coal, or oil barrels in this. Okay, that's nice. It's two hundred dollars. And here we have the medium side gondola, or the medium gondola, and this is also iron ore, coal, or oil barrels. Well, it's nice that you can put iron ore and coal in that. I like that. And then a the high side gondola. So I'm sure they carry different different amounts. That's probably going to be one or two iron ore, maybe, and that will be like three or four iron ore, and that will probably be like five or six iron ore or coal. I'm not, you know, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't guess how many oil barrels each of them would carry, but we'll, I mean, I'll I'll sure try it and see. Um, I'll have to do a video on that, just taking these cars up to see how much they. Uh, how much they uh, how much they hold and stuff and then uh, of course we have a tank car so where are we at let's go back I want to find out where we're at so we got one two three four five six seven eight we're at eight and this is a tank car of course it carries crude oil let's see how many colors this one has okay so far they all have the same seven colors um, this is 3,520 pounds. This one was built in 1930, so all those were built in 1905 up to this one. This is built, or this is built by, oh, this ain't the Craig. This is the, uh, Wyalua, I'm sure I butchered that, agricultural company. It's an oil tanker and it was built in 1930. Of course, it's 3,520 pounds and it is $280. Did the other ones go up? Yes, yeah, so that was the most I gondola was 200, the high medium was 220, and the high side was 250, and this one's 280. And then we have the EWA Eastern Washington. Ah, I, I, I wouldn't even know. I'd have to ask Professor Heiss on that. I have no idea what the EWA stands for. Uh, plantation box car um, which carries crate tools and oil barrels so you can put oil barrels in a box car very nice very 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 nice 
I'm gonna go. I wonder if we go through the rest of these and see if they change that too. They didn't say that anything like that in the uh, change log, but I wonder. Does this have the seven same color? Yes, it has the seven same seven colors, and it's three hundred dollars. So let's just for craps and giggles. Let's uh, go see if the new um, Well, I didn't check that. I didn't check that. So, raw iron lumber and beams. Uh, logs and steel pipe. Raw iron lumber and beams. Cord wood and oil barrels. No. Nope. So, no, just crate tools. And just crate tools. So, they didn't change those at all. So, come on. Go back because I know I missed a couple. So a little still it looks like it's a little gold there, yeah. So but that guys is our cars. And so we can take a closer look at them here. So here is your box car. little bitty thing you can't even get your head in there it won't even let me get all the way in there I can't even go I can't even walk in the car okay that's uh it's not good and then here's your high this is your cordwood or your uh, bulkhead car here's your log car there's your uh, your medium gondola here's your low side gondola here's your tank car your high side gondola of course there's Betsy here is your flatbed your, that's your flat and then of course your state car and then like I said there's your law car and your gondola car so there they are guys and very 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 small so I wouldn't say that that's going to hold too many crates, and I don't think that's going to hold too many. That might hold four lumber, you think, or maybe just two lumber. Yeah, we'll have to see, guys. We'll have to run these to the uh, to the sawmills. I've already started laying a little bit of track. This is in my test world. Um, I don't even have it attached to anything but right here of course you can see I haven't even gotten rid of these trees so so uh, but we will have to uh, I'll have to pull Betsy up front here and uh, I'll have to off camera I'll attach this to the uh, to the industries and see if we can pull some of these cars around and see how much they hold uh, in a in a future episode so uh, yeah guys I just wanted to jump in and, and give you guys a look at the uh, at the new toys and uh, give you a idea of what was in the in the update and um, I will get a new video out pretty soon sometime this week hopefully um, I've been real busy uh, uh, work life has really put in a a damper on my on my recording um, I'm able to play a game every you know for about an hour 45 minutes to an hour every night but um, as far as recording it's been it's been pretty rough because um, recording takes much longer and then editing 
when I do editing. Sometimes, guys, if, if, if I don't, you know, during the recording, if I don't think there's much editing needs to be done, sometimes I'll just push the video straight out. But even then, it takes longer because it, I have to upload it to YouTube and all that stuff. So, um, but I will, I will promise I'll try to get one out this week. Um, and the games I've been playing, I haven't really played Railroads Online. Uh, maybe once or twice in the last two weeks. I think it's been two weeks since I put out a video. Um, I'll have to go back and look at my playlist and see. Uh, but I haven't played Railroads Online uh, and maybe one or two times off camera. Um, I've been playing a lot of survival games. Uh, I've gotten a kick of the survival games lately. I've watched this uh, um, uh, new content creator, um, and he's he plays a bunch of different survival games. So I've been kind of following his channel a little bit and, and, and playing some of the ones that he plays that he recommends, not all of them. Um, I really didn't care for all of them too much, but the ones that interested me, I downloaded them and played them a few times. And I may actually add those into the uh, rotation of games that I record and 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 upload to YouTube. So we'll see um, if that's something you guys might you know that you think you might like. Um, leave some you know leave me a, a a comment down below. Let me know what you think, uh, and uh, we can get to that. So. Uh, with that, guys, um, I'm going to say uh, have a good night or a good morning, as it is for me. Um, and uh, God bless you. Take care of each other. And we'll see you guys on the next one.